Come learn about hybrid speciation and its usage in a Star Trek Prodigy episode starting now. In this episode of Star Trek Prodigy, we learn that Dahl has DNA from a bunch of different species. He's part human, but also part Klingon, Vulcan, and others. Importantly, they stress he's something original relative to these other species, and the term used was hybrid speciation. I'll focus here on what's called homoploid hybrid speciation. The first step involves individuals from two species interbreeding and forming hybrids. But this is different from what I talked about in an earlier video with allopolyploidy, in that this kind of species formation does not involve doubling the number of copies of chromosomes in the hybrid. Instead, with hybrid speciation, individuals from two species still come together and breed, and then eventually, in a later generation, a new genetic combination is formed from these genes originally put together. And that descendant maybe doesn't even interbreed with the original species. It's original. This may well happen in the real world. One possible example is this butterfly, Heliconius hirippa. Some evidence suggests its ancestor was initially formed as a hybrid of Heliconius sydno and Heliconius melpomene. Now, if true, the gene variants from these two species shuffled around a bit and eventually made what is now a new original species. But it's still controversial whether and how much this happens across animals. In any event, the process I described was natural and involved interbreeding. What happened in this Prodigy episode was artificial hybrid speciation. So it was more a man-made combination straight to the end result. So yes, Star Trek Prodigy's doll being a product of artificial hybrid speciation has a basis in real-world scientific concepts. Yes!